Western Illinois is a tough group of kids. Um, their coach should be very proud of them. Um, those kids should be very proud of themselves the way they came in and took the run game away from us. Um, so it was a nice job by those those kids and those coaches. My hats off to them. Uh, overall, in the football game, it was great for us to you know get uh, deal with the adversity we had to deal with in the first quarter and really the whole first half and uh, two weeks in a row now we've had some substantial adversity uh, hit us right in the face a lot of teams at this time of year have faced zero adversity and we faced it twice uh, in my opinion we've looked it right in the eye uh, we've dealt with it there was no kids pointing fingers uh, there was no replacing blame they kept on fighting at halftime we all just challenged ourselves to execute and be tough and uh, they did it and I'm very very proud of the way they did it. I thought Tanner was came on and obviously he caught some mojo there, 17 in a row, and fell at home. Kim's kids on the offense made some plays for him uh, when we were unable to really run the football effectively all day long. Um, we did not. And I thought we, we needed to continue to form an identity with this team. And a couple fourth downs, the first fourth down we, we didn't get. Um, I thought that was important for this football team to convert those other couple fourth downs, not just for this game, but as we move forward to have belief that uh, that is the kind of football we're going to play, and that's the expectation level that we have. So I'm proud of the kids. Uh, it's a great victory. See as we move forward, but uh, you know Tanner did what we thought he could do. He did some nice things with his legs. He had good command of the offense, um, and we threw the ball very, very well. He seemed to be pretty poised. You know, it took a, when there wasn't something there, he got out of it, um, which was which was good to see. Didn't seem to be pressing. So. Um, yeah, we'll see as we move forward. It's great to see Bart get in there and have some success also. Got Mike's on each side. Jesse? Gary, do you feel like you found a number one wide receiver with Alex given what he showed you today in the past two games? You know, Alex and Jordan um, did a great job today. You know, they, they stacked one guy more than we had in the box and a lot of times two, and it's two on two out there and what a tremendous job uh, by both of those kids by what they did. Jordan may not show it in numbers as far as catches go, but his ability to block was impressive, and, and Alex made a lot of football plays today. He he caught it over the middle very, very well. Um, he's fearless. He's a competitor. He's fast, and I think that uh, you know Tanner feels very comfortable, as all our quarterbacks do, throwing the ball to Alex, and uh, it was it was just great to see him because he's worked so hard since that bowl game to get this moment. You mentioned about Tanner getting his mojo, but it didn't start out that way. And after missing Sam wide open in the second quarter, the numbers say that's where it seemed to click. Was there something said, something you saw in him differently from that point forward? Uh, no, there was nothing said. Uh, you know, there was no magic fairy dust sprinkled on him. So it was just he started to execute. Um, I'm sure he felt more comfortable, you know. Uh, it's, there's a lot to say walking in and, and playing in front of your home crowd, just as there is walking in and playing, you know, on the road for the first time in front of, in front of a uh, hectic crowd, and you come home and you get your home crowd, and uh, he just he started to run the offense well and play the well to, play the way that we uh, thought that he could when we recruited him. It was great to see. Is that what you have to put on tape for other teams? You're going to say, you know what, we're going to make them beat us through the air. Yeah, uh, I would completely agree with that. And I think one thing we can't understate is the fact that Derek Watt was not there today. Um, that young man is as good a fullback as I've ever been around. And Austin came in and Austin battled and Austin will get better. But the, the loss of Derek is uh, a big for this offense. And it's, it's unseen maybe to a lot of fans or, or people out there. Um, but for our offense, you all know they've been here a lot longer than I. It is a valuable, valuable part. So we need to get better at that spot, and we will. Austin will continue to work to get better. Um, but, you know, that, that is a fact. If uh, people are going to load it up and you know, plus one or even more than plus one, you have to be able to throw the football. And, uh, you know, I thought Tanner hit some nice tight windows on some seam balls down the field, which was great to see. And, and to be able to get out of that screen game, if they're going to give you one, you know, we talked about it, if they can give you layups, let's, let's make layups, not have to sit there and shoot jump shots all day long.